Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for tuning in for my probably a little bit longer um, video today um, because I thought I'm going to showcase you what I deem low density wigs um, that cover um, most lengths. So depending on what you're after. Um, so grab yourself a cup of tea and let's start. So before we start, I would just like to say that I think low density, like colours, can be a question of perception. Um, what I might find low density, you might find high density. What I find high density, you might find low density. So always a little bit of caution, just to make you aware that we all perceive things differently. Um, but these are my low density wigs. Um, that I like to wear or have worn and I perceive as quite natural. In terms of brands, um, what comes to mind when I hear low density wigs is Ellen Willer and is um, Sentu and Beltres. That's not to say that other brands haven't got low density wigs, but these are the three brands that come to mind or come to my mind when I hear low density wigs. I The wigs I will show you are from all different brands. So there's hopefully something for everyone. So all different brands, all different lengths, all different colors. There will be many, many more <laughs> wigs that, that people deem low density out there. Obviously, I, I can't show you them all. I already tried to rid riddle it down <laughs> to a few. Um, but if you have other low density wigs, please put them in the comments. So I think it would be really useful for everyone who is watching um, to just compile a list of low density wigs. Um, and that would be really useful yeah. for everyone. So let's get started. I will not go into um, much of the cup construction or reviews or anything. Some of them I have reviewed. Most of them have reviews out there from other people. So if you're interested in one, by all means, go and check them out in more detail. I just want to show you them because I do have quite a lot to show you. So that would just be a way too long video if I would do a review for all of them as well. The first one that always brings to mind when I think or people ask me about, can you suggest some low density wigs? is one by Beltrace and it's the tea leaf layer. I have mine in honey with chai latte. I did have it in other colors as well, but this is the one I've been wearing when I was still a teacher at school all the time. And as far as I know, <laughs> nobody noticed that this is a wig. Um, it's a hand tied cap. It's uh, it's so comfortable, really lightweight, gorgeous. Um, I haven't tried the new Lux collection by Beltrace, but I can only assume they are similar cup construction and similar density. I don't see tea leaf layer much out there, um, which is a real shame. I don't understand why, because I think it's so realistic. Let me back up if I can. It's it's a girl deck next door look, teeth friendly fiber so you can put waves in it if you want to. The lace front is amazing. The only trouble that I had with all of them is the fringe. You have a quite short fringe and when it first comes out of the box it stands up in all kinds of ways. So you do have to add some kind of um, heat and water to it etc. But it looks so realistic. It's just gorgeous how it fits around my head how it lays flat so on me it goes just about chest height nobody even suspected that i was wearing a wig so and when you have a job where you get you know where, where your appearance gets scrutinized all the time you would think somebody would tweak but nobody did so yeah, so tea leaf layer, this one is in honey with chocolate. I will start with the longer ones and work my way Next up. This one I want to show you is one of the newer styles by Henry Margu called Sydney, and it's in the color 12H. It has a mono top, 
and a lace front inverted cap. No perma teeth that I feel. This is Sydney. Great, low density, longer piece. Me, uh, just to like the collarbone. I have a long face and long neck, so wigs look shorter on me uh, than maybe on other people, just to make you aware of that. But Sydney is just lovely. <laughs> really low density, natural. And you can part it wherever you like. Next one I want to show you is Blair by Renee of Paris in the color Icy Oak SR. Again, no permatees that I can feel, or if there is, it's minimal. This one has a center part and a lace front, open left sides and back. It's another option good for longer pieces, really flat to the head. Nicely ear tuckable. Gorgeous piece. Sydney and Blair are regular synthetic fibers. Tea leaf layer is a peat friendly wig. Next one I want to show you is a human hair wig. Um, this is by Dimples, my first Dimples ever. Um, I just thought I, sh I I throw a human hair wig in there as well just to give you <laughs> an option. Um, this one is a hentai cap, um, lace front, mono top. It's, a, it's quite a small cap. I have a 21.5 inch circumference. The cap is a 21 inch. So good for everyone who's petite. It just about fits me. This one is Marina in the color chocolate pudding. It's 100% Remy human hair, a lot of layers, but incredibly natural looking. Really a low density because of the layers <laughs> as well. That helps. It's so, it's from the Feather collection. And it, the cap is, the whole wig is so lightweight. I hardly feel it on. It's lovely. It feels very secure on my head. It doesn't feel too tight, but if you are higher than a 21.5 inch, I don't think Marina would fit you comfortably. But look how lovely this one looks. I want to show you um, two pieces that I love, and I'm normally a really low density wig person. They are more higher end of low density, lower end of medium, but I just love them. So the first one is Raquel Welch, well played in shaded wheat. There is no permatease in this wig. The density is slightly higher, but I still think this is a really good, natural, realistic, looking wig, still attackable. It's, it's beautiful. These are um, heat friendly fibers. So I think if you like a little bit more hair, but not over the top, I think well played is a great option. The other option I have here for you, similar length, similar look, is Picture Perfect by Trezor Law. I love this wig. No permatease, gorgeous. I would say that Picture Perfect might be slightly less density than well played. Cap construction is mono top, lace front, open weft, and on well played it's mono part, Lace Let's talk about slightly shorter, slightly shorter wigs. Um, one 
I actually always really like, and I think it's quite um, a good, almost budget-friendly option. I think it's Dakota by Rene of Paris. This is on loan, so I can't mess with it too much. So the zigzag parting is still in, and it has a little bit of a box hair there, but some water will just sort it out. I think density wise Dakota is spot on. It does need a little bit of work as I said it's on loan I can't do the work but just for density wise and length wise I think it's a great everyday piece. Not too long not too short. This one is in marble brown LR. really great natural density if there is permatease is minimal and this one has a lace front and a mono part there are two options that are quite similar and one is Tatum by Amour I have it in the in the color coffee latte um, again, it's one I can't mess with. It is on loan. Um, uh, Tatum only has a double mono top, so that's good for everyone who just doesn't want a lace front. It might be irritating to them or for whatever reason. Tatum is a great everyday style lovely blunt cut bob with a fringe that you can either wear across or to the side. So if you like Tatum but you think, you know, I always wanted Tatum with a lace front, I can show you Sango which is by Sentu, which does have a lace front and a mono top. Open, open vests, sides and back. Fairly similar style. And it doesn't fit as tight as does Tatum. And I would say that Sango is even lower density than Tatum is. Both are uh, regular synthetic fibers. And this one is in the color 81020G. Next one I want to show you is Anatolia in root beer blonde float by Beltres. So this one has a mono part and lace front, um, shorter at the back, longer at the front, heat friendly fibers, a bit more of an edgy style but as you can see low density there is no permatees, at least not that I can feel. I really like the style, really edgy. Right, next one up is my very <laughs> used uh, Esprit by Ellen Villa in the ca color hazelnut rooted, hand mainly hand tied cap, mono part, but you can part where you like because it's hand tied, and a lace front. I love Esprit, it is incredibly natural, incredibly lightweight, and you have those waves that are just so effortless, really low density. I, however, recently I had an Esprit and I heard other people say that as well, that they bought an Esprit and it was quite more dense than they assumed and I had uh, recently one as well that was 
yeah, it felt more dense. However, if I remember rightly, this one came out of the box quite poofy as well. And I think it just takes a little bit of time for the fibers to settle and to just calm down. That's just what I assume because I think this one was a bit bulky as well. But as you can see now, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's so natural. So I don't know if they have changed it recently, if they just added more pair to it, or if it is just a question of time for it to just settle. But in terms of lightweight, even the, the ones I had recently, the cap is light, everything feels light. And maybe sometimes it just takes that you need to brush through it to just calm it all down. I had, don't give up on a spree, uh, but please let me know if you know that they have changed the density or if you have the similar experience, etc. Just put it down below in the comments for everyone else to, to know uh, about it as well. Would be really useful. So this one is Hot or Ought <laughs> by John Renault in the color um, Shade of Praline. Uh, it has a lace front and a mono part. I have straightened it because I prefer that straightened look <laughs> um, rather than the, it comes normally with a curve. I just think straightened out it just looks a bit more more modern in my opinion on me right so that's hard no permatees that i can feel really lovely low density piece next one is lia 2 in Candy Blonde Rooted. It has an extended lace front and it has a mono part. If there's permatease, it's minimal. It's just it's such an edgy, cool style. I think, especially with this color. If you want to tone the edginess down a little bit, maybe go with more of a brunette color. I also want to point out the wig I was wearing at the beginning, which is the Kerry Human Hair Wig by John Renault. This is uh, the, the normal Kerry, has a mono top and a lace front. I think it's fairly low density as well. It just gives you another option. There's also the Kerry Light, uh, which I haven't tried, um, which is a hand tight cap base. It might be even less density. I don't know. I haven't tried that one. Uh, but I think this one is another option as well if you are after a human hair wig that <laughs> where you don't need to glue anything. So that's Carrie in Palm Springs Blonde uh, by John Renault. Now this one is uh, Sorella by Ellen Villa from uh, the Stimulate collection. This one has a lace front and a mono part. I would say that if you can't get Cirella, because I think that's a European collection, um, opt for Narano by Ellen Villa or um, Elite um, by Ellen Villa as well. Very similar, they're all chin length bob. But this is the Cirella mono. In the color Light Bernstein Rooted. No permatees that I can feel very natural. So let's talk about some um, short ones. I pop in here um, some videos because I tend not to wear really short ones because when I had bio hair, I always had to have short hair. <laughs> but we have the Gardenia uh, by Sentu. Really low density, lovely short bob um, here, really pretty. And then we have the Tamaki by Sentu as well, which is another short, chic option for you. So 
no permatease, just really lightweight, great cup construction. So I come to the end of my low density mix. I really hope this was useful to you, that you found this helpful, that it narrowed down some of the choices for you. Um, so hopefully um, having all different lengths and colors helped you as well. And if you have any questions, any comments, put them down below. And if you have any other low density mix, as I said at the beginning of the video, please pop them down below as well, which I think will be really useful for everyone to you know, have a list of all the different options that are out there for low density wigs. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already as well, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at KOS Wigs. Have a lovely, lovely day and I hope I see you soon. Bye.